Hello and welcome to Design Education Talks from the New Art School. Today we have with us Professor Ting Chaochen. Welcome, Hello. Ting. Hello, Lefterius. Nice to meet you. It's and glad to see to all. you here. Yeah. So tell us Me about too. you and your work. Uh, my new work was just ended. <laughs> My new work was ended. Uh, it was called the Design Day Marathon. Uh, that is uh, a a major international workshop during the times of the Beijing International Design Week uh, last month. And Lefteria, so you also join us as one of the tutor in the workshop. So this year uh, we have six. Hundred students from around the world participating in this workshop is one of the the greatest event for our school. That、uh, during the 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 first semester, which is the fall semester, and we are running this for the past seven years.、Uh, by the way, I would like to t- tell you about more of our school. Would that be possible? Yes, of course, of course. Yeah.、Uh, I'm from Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology,、uh, the、uh, Department of New Media. So I'm in charge with the New Media Department. And in New Media be- Department, we have two、uh, different majors. One is different、uh, is is called Digital Media Art. The other is called、uh, Animation. So within these two majors, we are Uh, teaching students about the UI design, interaction design, and、uh, film productions, and animation, two D and three D animations, and also、uh, for recent years we've been dealing with、uh, the interaction design that is linking to the new areas of the the industry called the IoT related、uh, industry. That means that before we are more focusing on the the UI and the interaction design inside the computers, inside the cell phone. But right now we are facing that the interaction design that will be embedded into cars, embedded into cell phones, embedded into the the electronic appliances in the household. So that's basically、uh, the the new DDR. Department is one of the the very advanced department in Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology. But since、uh, this name is closely relating to fashion,、uh, I would like to tell you more about this school.、Uh, mm-hmm. Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology sounds like fashion, but actually we are a comprehensive design school in China. We have. More than ten thousand students、uh, in our school. We have four campuses in Beijing, and、uh, according to the ranking of business of fashion, our school is ranking number second in Asia.、Uh, the number one school is from Japan, is Bukai Women's University, and、uh, I've been working in this department since. 2014 as director, and the new media department、uh, right now is ranking number second、uh, in the entire China、uh, mm. among all the、uh, new media de- departments in the Chinese university, and uh, uh, we are training professionals in the fashion school. Firstly, we are helping the fashion. Faculties and the student to integrating the media-related technologies into their designs. So the thing like、uh, wearable technologies,、uh, things like uh, uh, you know the the, the Web 3.0-related、uh, fashion、uh, productions, NFTs, and the blockchain-related、uh, technologies. We've been Using this into our pedagogy for the past years, so basically, this is I'm working on too. Fantastic, fantastic! And what about your personal research? I am <laughs> a little bit different. Try to be 
I'm sorry, there's a, a cell phone coming up. Uh, my personal research is not strongly uh, relating to purely digital related design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the recent years, I'm working on two, two different areas of research. One is called house design. Uh, as you can tell that the house design uh, starting from 2020 during the pandemic, we are more aware of the, uh, the our help, uh, well, well being. So the house design is becoming, uh, more and more popular in China. And starting from 2014, I was aware of the, uh, the house design might be the future for the new generations in their lifestyle. So I start a project in our school called Urban Sleep Sanctuary. Uh, Urban Sleep Sanctuary it is a, a house-related design that is more focusing on the issues of sleep and sleep technology. So it might sound uh, very different from others, but I'm working on this since 2014 until now. So this is eight years I'm uh, trying to working on the project along with my students during the uh, the graduation design for the undergraduate school and uh, the master degree. And the students are working on product design, uh, service design. Uh, they are also working on film productions that relating to the uh, the subjects of sleep and. Uh, this one uh, uh, is relating to the house. The other one, uh, the the design area I'm more interested in is uh, the design relating to the senior adults, uh, because of the China because of China is uh, is uh, is getting very uh, very fast into the uh, the post senior society.